Hey friends, you know me as DM Scotty, the original dungeon crafting master, right? And I have been doing this for years. I've been using all kinds of adhesives and different techniques. I've shown you guys different techniques for the years, but I have just stumbled across the most amazing adhesive I have ever used, right? And I am excited to show share it with you guys, okay? So let's hit my table. I'm gonna talk about the strengths and the weaknesses of the adhesives that I've come to use and why I am using this new adhesive, and it's amazing. So let's hit my table. I'm I'm excited to show you guys this. Let's hit my table. I'm going to show you the amazing properties of this new adhesive. So let's talk about my absolute favorite adhesive, right? That's hot glue, right? And it's even in my logo. So you know how much I love hot glue. I use it in a lot, a lot of crafts. You know, the great things about it, it's quick and it has dimensionality, right? Which is great. You can utilize that uh, in your crafts by giving things texture, you know, pulling the hot glue up onto stuff and just making uh, some really fantastic stuff. I've done some really great things through the years with it. But that's also can be its weakness, right? The dimensionality, you may not want that dimensionality when you glue stuff, because when you glue it with that stuff, it's gonna squirt out the sides and it sets really quickly. So you gotta be quick about what you're doing. And if you're not quick enough, you'll get you know the big dry blobs on your project. And with, with stuff that you're doing that's small, you may not want that, right? Also, it's not great at gluing plastics, right? I have glue plastics with it, but generally how I have to do that is I have to drag the hot glue up onto the surface. And if that's something you don't want to do, then you really don't want to be using hot glue for that, right? Those are kind of the strengths and the weaknesses of hot glue. Now let's talk about my next favorite glue, which is Elmer's Glue All, right? I love this stuff. Uh, it's great for porous materials. And you know, I make all kinds of stuff by using my toilet uh, paper technique where I use watered down white glue, watered down Elmer's glue to make things super hard and durable, right? You just soak it in the white, the 50% water, 50% white glue, and you can make some great stuff out of it. So it's so fantastic. It's great for like gl gluing wood and cardboard and that kind of thing, but you really can't use it on plastics or metals or that kind of thing because it will not hold. It won't hold to the surface, it'll come off. So it's not a great glue for that. So it's not a great all around glue, but for the things it's good for, it's really good for, just like the hot glue gun. The third glue I use to uh, kind of even out my arsenal of glues, right, is E6000 or Goop. It's great for gluing like metals and plastics to other objects. Uh, so that's great about it. The downside is it just melts the crap out of foam, right? <laughs> That's one downside. It'll melt foam. You cannot glue stuff to foam with it. It can only be like cardboard or wood or that kind of thing. And even if you seal the foam, it tends to, it can eat through that layer and just melt the foam. So don't even attempt to use it on foam. Another problem with it is if you don't use it quick enough, it tends to gum up, right? And get kind of, you know, wads of glue kind of thing, like gummy glue and, and nothing will stick to it. You got to get it when it's really just out of the tube and that can be tricky. So you got to be pretty quick with it, especially when you're doing like small little rivets or objects. It makes it really hard to use the E6000. So here is my alternative, right, to all the problems with these other glues. Now these other glues still have their benefits, right? And you still want to use them. Like the hot glue gun, if you got large objects to glue quickly, there's no you, there's no beating it. If you want to put texture on objects, you know, that is fantastic. It's so great for that. The white glue, you know, my my technique of soaking stuff with the white glue and making hard toilet paper and paper towels and that kind of thing. You know, this other glue isn't going to replace that. But as far as like the E6000, it's gone for me. Like this totally replaces that glue and it can be used for any of the other adhesion uh, for any of the objects with the other thing. It's just more the special effects, the kind of other things that you can do with the glues, like the dimensionality of the hot glue or the soaking of the white glue that would make, would make it unique. So you can't really replace it with this glue, but this glue will literally glue anything together. And I'm going to show you this. So you might say, Hey, Scotty, what is this other glue you're talking about? Well, right now I am going to tell you, no more waiting. I'm gonna tell you right this moment what the other glue is. I know you've been waiting this whole video to hear what the glue is, but I am gonna tell you right now, right this second, what the glue is. Okay, here we go. Here's what the glue is. Are you ready? Here we go. It is called Styrogoo, okay? I know that's a weird name for this glue, right? And uh, a company called Hot Wire Foam Factory sells it. You can purchase it uh, at their website, which is the most economical way, or you can get it through my Amazon link, which is definitely more expensive that way. So I would recommend hitting the Hot Wire Foam Factory site. 
Now the intention of the styro goo is just to glue styrofoam together, which it does great. It's perfect at that. It's also easy, fairly easy to cut through it with a hot wire cutter, which some glues are not so easy to cut through, right? So you can still cut through it. But I found out that it's actually much more versatile than just gluing styrofoam together. So let's talk about what it's good for, which is everything. Here I'm going to show you what styro goo can do, which none of these other glues can do, right? I'm going to glue all these objects together. So I've got cardboard, I've got foam core, I've got styrofoam, I've got a shaped uh, piece of craft foam, the star, I've got wood, I've got a plastic elephant bead, and I've got metal wings. So styro glue can glue all of these together. The other glues cannot do that. Now, like I said, you can use the other glues for other things. But uh, with the exception of E6000, which will melt the styrofoam and the foam core. But, like you could use hot glue for, you know, gluing the bead on and gluing the metal wings on. But it's not great for that stuff because that, since that stuff isn't porous, the hot glue won't adhere to it very well. And it will come, it'll come right off unless you dr actually drag the hot glue up onto the plastic object, which is not something we always want to do, right? So here I've glued all these objects together with the styro goo. This is literally something that the other glues I mentioned will not do well. They'll glue some of these well and others not so well, right? The hot glue would probably melt the styrofoam. Uh, the hot glue wouldn't stick well to the metal or the plastic. The uh, Elmer's glue won't stick well to the metal or the plastic and that kind of thing. So there's always some kind of caveat with the glues. But if you want to glue this stuff together uh, without the dimensionality of the hot glue, the styro glue is perfect because you can just glue all these objects straight together with no damage to the other object. And the bond is super strong. It's nearly as strong as the E6000. Hey craft friends, I hope you like what you saw. If you uh, know of any other adhesives you like and would like to comment, please comment, please do. Or if you have any questions, ask me questions. Also like and share. That really helps us spread the love of the craft. And stick around because I'm going to show you where you can pick up this glue at a discount from your DM Scotty. All right, guys, I wanted to help you a little bit with this adhesive, right? I have partnered with Hot Wire Foam Factory that creates this adhesive, and I have a link below the video that you can go to. It's my affiliated link, so I do get a little bit of a kickback, which I appreciate. And they're going to give you a discount on this, right? So they're going to give you this discount that you can use to purchase this glue. So you need to do this. If you're a crafter, go and purchase this glue. You're not going to be sorry. It's all the things I told you about in the video, it's going to be well worth your money. So check it out. If you can pick it up, make sure to grab that styro goo.